Thank you, Sharla Bowman. I want to uh, tell you what a great gal we've got here. Uh, Sharla has been a favorite at Dunrobin. She has come many a time to sing and to serenade. And uh, the thing I like most about Sharla is she's from a, a family of seven girls. Seven girls. And uh, from uh, Lewistown, which is the very center of the state of Montana. Am I not right? Yeah. And so for entertainment, they had a piano and seven girls, so what else do you do? I mean, <laughs> and she has kept that tradition so alive, and it's just been wonderful. She also does a lot of um, home cooking and home baking and home uh, preserves. Do you know that, Charlotte? Yeah. yeah. She's a wonderful gal. Please give her, uh, Charlotte a hand for me. She's been, uh, she has some CDs. She appears throughout uh, the valley. And I am always just delighted to have her back at Don Rowan. Uh, welcome all to the second annual uh, equine uh, uh, art extravaganza. Uh, we started this event uh, to celebrate the human horse bond. And um, you know, somebody said a long time ago that alongside the footsteps of man, as he came from the, uh, along in civilization were the hooves of a horse. And it's really true uh, that uh, horses were one of the first domesticated animals. They have really projected us uh, as a species from a primitive state to a, a cultured state. They did much of the labor in our fields and much of the labor in war and in building our, our civilizations. And the role of the horse in recent years has changed. Um, and thankfully so. I think we are all recognizing that horses are the sentient beings, just like ourselves. And they have come to really help us better understand ourselves and to help us through difficult emotional and physical uh, situations. Horses are unique in their ability to read our own emotions and our own feelings. They are a prey animal. Their um, survival depends on their ability to read a predator, and our eyes are forward, and we are predators. And they can look us up one side and down the other and know exactly what we're feeling. And they provide a very um, neutral mirror to what's going on inside of us. And so in that capacity, they are being used by uh, physical therapists and mental and emotional therapists and people who are helping uh, veterans with PTSD. And it is for that reason that we are holding uh, this event, is to raise money uh, to support those kind of efforts. This is part of the uh, Friends of Don Roven Nonprofit Association uh, organizations. 5013C, so everything that you've donated will um, is uh, tax deductible. <clears throat> and the Friends of Don Roven is really uh, was formed to just help other nonprofits in Montana. Uh, we don't have any programs ourselves. We just want to grant money to other nonprofits who believe in the same things that we do, and we believe in healthy communities, healthy individuals, healthy animals, and a healthy environment. So we invite uh, nonprofits that have programs. In in those areas to with a ta with a microphone very near it. So let me just say that you are mic'd, okay? <laughs> we have people from all over the world uh, watching us as as I speak. Um, they have gathered at Dunrobin. It all started with our ospreys nest, and I'm sure you've been hearing the ospreys. They've been giving you a run for your money, uh, Charlotte. They're up there uh, calling for dinner. We have two chicks. The chicks' names are Wakati and Congo in honor of a refugee student uh, from uh, a Missoula Catholic school here in Missoula. Uh, they participated in our awesome Osprey education project this spring, and they suggested that we name the chicks after this wonderful uh, refugee student from the Congo. So the chicks' names are Wakati and Congo. And let me tell you, they're two fierce birds. If you go on my Facebook site, I have been posting some videos of them fighting over fish. And if you are uh, careful tonight, you hear some chirping, look up. What's happening at this stage in their development is they're learning how to fly. Uh, they can fly somewhat. Their landings have not been the best. They have yet to learn how to fish. 
and their parents continue to fish for them and bring fish to their nest. So the chick will go to the nest and scream its head off saying, bring me some food, mom and dad, just like typical teenagers everywhere. You know, out with the family car, don't quite know how to drive. It's, it's, it's exactly what's going on right now. Anyway, they were the start of all this, and, and from that uh, web camera uh, grew this online community. It's called Days at Dun Roman, and we have a number of people from all over the world, and I want to wave to them, and I want to thank them for coming. And uh, part of this fundraiser uh, allows them to participate. Um, tomorrow I will put up the photos of each one of the horses, and you can vote on your favorite horse by making a $5 donation to Friends of Dunrobin. For each $5 donation, you get to vote. And uh, we have people online that will be doing that as well. So I welcome them as much as I welcome you. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a lot of thanks uh, to... Uh, to offer. First of all, one of our major sponsors was uh, ABC Acres. If you haven't been to ABC Acres in the south part of the Bitterroot Valley, it's a permaculture farm and a homestay uh, place. Beautiful, lovely, beautiful people. And they're really trying to, uh, to kind of push the envelope of agriculture in the Bitterroot Valley. Terrific people, and they've uh, really helped us a lot. Uh, Eric Schreck, who has, uh, who has Erica's uh, event planning, she helped us along on the way. And then I also want to thank Rita. Rita, where are you? Thank you. For ha housing one of our lovely artists. I really appreciate that very much. Uh, Cafe Friends, who are in the background here. John, give us a, give us a wave. Yeah. John's been just a fabulous friend, and I don't know if any of you have eaten at Cafe Friends, but it's my favorite spot in the whole valley, and I have to tell you about last year at this time, John and I were reminiscing, we started this last year, and this was the night that the Lolo Peak fire blew up in our face, and one of our uh, artists, who by the way made your beautiful uh, table decorations, uh, Jeanette Wrangler, she had to drop out to help her parents moved sheep, and John had to evacuate your house before you came. And they still came, and they still catered, and isn't that Montana? Thank you, John. Yeah. Very much. Uh, Carolyn, where is Carolyn Meyer? Carolyn, come on out here with your camera. This is my newfound friend. She came last year and stayed. Come on over here. <laughs> and she's become a horse owner, have you not, Caroline? You have, and a horse aficionado, and she came back because she loves the intersection of horses and art, and she is uh, doing all of our photography. Can say hello, Carolyn. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. Kelly and uh, Paula are horse handlers. Uh, Kelly is the first one. Give a wave, Kelly. She's my ranch manager, and nothing happens around here without Kelly, okay? Yeah, I have to go to Kelly and ask what's up, okay? Just because I own the place doesn't mean I have a bit of authority, okay? And then Paula, Paula's back there. Paula, give us a wave. Paula is the treasurer of the um, Friends of Dunrobin, and she's just really stepped up this year to, to organize, and I, I thank you both very, very much. Um, and I want to thank my online viewers as well. So first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce each artist and their horse. So when I call your name, I would appreciate your coming up. I'm going to do them in alphabetical order. I don't think the horses are in that order, but I want the horses to come out in alphabetical order. So the first one is indeed Wind Warrior, which is mystery. And Bobby, where are you, Bobby? Come on up. Bobby Almer. So, Bobby, tell us about your experience. Did you enjoy doing this? It was a new experience for me. I'm, I'm not a horse person. I've never been around horses a lot. But he was such a beautiful horse to paint. I mean, I just didn't know what to expect, but he was perfect. He's very stately, isn't he? He is. He's yeah. gorgeous. He's a young guy. And my granddaughter is going to walk with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might just be in love with her, too. I think he Maybe is. we may have to bring her back. I will. Yeah. So your concept was a, a Native American mm -hmm. thing, right? Right. And right. you called him Wind Warrior? Wind Warrior. Closer he has the, the spear bonnet. A little closer to the mic, Bobby. He has the warrior's bonnet, and um, that's... 
that's what we decided on. Very good. And where do you hail from? Um, I live out in the Nine Mile Valley. Beautiful place. Yes, it is gorgeous. Yes. Well, I really want to thank you for participating in this year's contest. Um, he's beautiful. He did just a fabulous job. Thank now, you. Those are his colors. He is. Yeah. He's gorgeous. Thank, thank you. you very much, Bob. Thank you, Kelly. Lisa Bonilla, and uh, she did what is called Wind Dancer on our uh, horse Rocket Man. Rocket was named because he would like to rocket around the, the pastures as a foal. And he is being led by uh, Katie Watasani. And when I told you the story of the chicks being named, it was her classroom. And she never knew anything about Dunrobin, and she brought her, her class out to Dunrovin, and she fell in love with the place, and she said, I'll come and muck stalls for this summer, and we said, sold. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> and now she won't go home. <laughs> She's delightful, and doesn't her hair match the horse? Yeah. Okay, then let's get Isabel, is that up here? Come here. From Columbia. This is a salsa horse, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, she hails from Cali, Colombia. I've been there, believe it or not. And it's a gorgeous place. Tell us a little bit about your homeland and how that is reflected in your horse. So where I'm from, from Cali, it's the uh, third largest city in Colombia. It's about two million people. And it's widely known for its salsa music culture. And along with the salsa music, it comes the dancing. And with the dancing comes a very particular aesthetic that it's all about the bling. It makes Vegas go to shame. <laughs> so it's all about the bright colors. It's all about the shimmer. It's all about, you know, just... Sure, it's, yourself. Exactly. And it's very, very, very psychedelic. And I wanted to transmit that in our theme that's this year that is Poetry in Motion. Poetry in Motion. So I chose the peacock feathers also because... Colombia is, has the world record in bird species. And I thought that wind, the, the name of this, the, well, the name of the artwork is called Wind Dancer. And I thought birds and wind went very well together. So this is how this idea came about. And glitter is life. Yes. So everything has glitter. <laughs> Absolutely. Can you uh, walk him around? Can you just give that up, let everybody see both sides? And as I was saying earlier today, uh, my time in Colombia, uh, I came back thinking green. It is one of the most green countries in the world. It's just lush. And this certainly depicts that in my mind. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is a, a, a lovely um, Addition and I love the international flavor and I'm so delighted that you came to. Well, I'm honored. I'm honored to be here. Well, it's my you. my first time here as an international artist, and if you tempt me, I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Katie. Okay, Rebecca, Kenan, Rebecca, where are you? Where did you disappear? Come on in. Yeah. And she has, she painted my uh, lovely lady Lanza. This horse is a horse that was born here. Uh, Lanza was born on my uh, father's birthday, uh, the year he died. My father taught me to love animals. And uh, it was through him that I became so uh, attached to dogs and horses. And so uh, my father's name was William Lonzo Goodman. So I named this horse Lady Lanza. And uh, isn't she a beauty? She's a, what's called a champagne. And uh, Rebecca, you've just done her proud. Let Thank you. Tell, you. Thank tell you. us a little bit about your background. Well, she was definitely a proper lady tonight while we were working with her uh, all day today. She was a wonderful model. Um, a little bit about myself. I am from Ulm, so I'm just west of Great Falls on the freeway. It's a little tiny spit of a town that if you blinked while you were driving by, you would just you'd miss it. <laughs> uh, my concept that I've done tonight is inspired by the uh, work that I normally do in my artistic career, which is I am a North American and Montana wildlife painter. So primarily I am painting elk and bison and other such animals. And I like to use the bright colors because I love color. I, I mean, you can see yes. there. <laughs> they pop on her, don't they? They do. She has a 
perfect color for all of those bright colors. I like to follow the natural muscle structure of the animal, and horses have just a wonderful shape. They have such a grace and a flow when they move, when they run. And so in the animals that I paint normally, uh, I am following their muscle structure and I'm filling them in with bright shapes and colors. So it's a little bit different take on the wildlife that we normally see in Montana. And I have actually painted a horse on a canvas before. This is my first time using the horse as the canvas. <laughs> uh, the concept tonight uh, that I have painted is uh, dusted on the wings of the day. And it's just kind of a reflection of the starting over uh, day to day. We get a new chance every day. And I feel like the dawn and dusk, sunrise and sunset are the most beautiful and the most peaceful times of the day. They're also the most colorful. And so that's what I really wanted to portray on her. Um, I'm a little sad that she scratched some of her stuff off, but I would imagine that the paint is kind of itchy. Yeah. <laughs> but she looks wonderful. She's gorgeous. And she was a great model. Well, uh, I really thank you, Rebecca, for taking a chance on us and bringing your art to us. And Sierra is a great horse handler. She uh, is. Uh, Lanza can be uh, a lot of fun if she's by herself, but she's also a bit of a pushy broad. <laughs> <laughs> My kind of gal, quite oh, frankly. Uh, but she'll walk over you if, if she lets you, and Sierra knows how to handle this gal when she's out with the boys. Thank you very much. Thank you both, and thank you so much for coming. Okay, next we have a tattoo artist, Philip Lambert. Philip, where are you? I saw you here somewhere. There you are. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I am really glad you came down from Sealy Lake to join us. It's just delightful. And you painted, we were going to paint Bill, but he was a bit antsy, so we switched to Chief. How did Chief do for you? Chief did fantastic. Chief was a uh, real good model. Yeah, he's a, he's a delightful horse, an older horse. Um, he's uh, had some feet issues, and that's why the boots on him. But tell us about your concept, uh, Philip. Water and flowers. Yeah, the, the theme was poetry in motion, so I wanted Use the mic, Philip. The theme was poetry in motion, so I wanted something that uh, kind of showed that motion as, as it's running. So I thought that water always has a very nice motion, and I didn't want just water, so I threw in flowers to um, kind of enhance that a little bit more. Yes, well, water definitely does flow with the ocean. Yeah, you very you depicted that very beautifully. Uh, Philip's a, a tattoo artist, and earlier I asked him, well, how did he come to be a tattoo artist? And I loved your response, so can you share it again? Absolutely. I, uh, I quit a job and didn't have a backup plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when you're an artist, that just happens. Yeah, but you are also a graduate of, uh, is it Cincinnati? Uh, Art Philadelphia? Institute of Pittsburgh. Actually. Pittsburgh. Art Ooh. Institute. And you made your way to Montana via Utah, is that correct? Yeah, I used to live in Utah for about 10 years, and then uh, we decided that we didn't feel like living in the city anymore, and we wanted to live somewhere where we felt like we were on vacation all the time, and Montana seemed like the place. And part of his va daily vacation is walking his cats. He's yeah. got these cats, he walks out the door, eight? Six. Six. Yeah, we're Six cats, kind of cat and, they, and they walk with him. Walk out the door, they go on a walk. You got a little herd of cats. Yeah. You know, there's this uh, saying about herding cats. You've conquered that. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you, Paula. This is the, the lovely lady I was talking about earlier. Thank you, Paula, for handling uh, your sheet. Appreciate it. Okay, so next, um, this is a personal friend. I'll have to give her a hard time. Uh, and. Uh, her handler is also a personal friend. Debbie, you want to come on up here? This is uh, Whiskey Man, and this is artist Debbie Lawrence from San Jose, California. And the truth is, Debbie and I go back quite a ways. Uh, Debbie has gone riding with me on this horse, by the way. And that was 12 years ago, maybe? At least, yeah, at, least at least a long time, <laughs> a, a long time yeah. ago. And the, the handler is Pearl O'Rourke from Boston. And she's been riding this horse for the last eight years. So how did this all come about, Debbie? How did you get roped into this adventure? <laughs> they paid me a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and wine. And wine. And wine. A and lot wine. of wine. Yeah. No, so, um, the, 
this is this is a great great opportunity. I love my Giddy Up Girl friends. Giddy Up right here, Pearl, and there's here's the tape. Some other uh, over on this table, and we've um, I've actually had a few rides with them, but they've been doing this for quite a while. So we decided to do this as a team. So it was a lot of fun, and I really could not have done it without them. Yeah, and I actually think that. Whiskey is has a little bit of Colombian in him now. <laughs> he's got quite a bit of bling. He's, he's, yeah. Debbie, explain the brand. Yeah. Oh yes. So this is this is a brand that I designed for our our little team and the Giddy Up Girls. And you can see it's got the the wine glasses part of the brand. And I probably don't need to say more. Say more about that, right? Uh, Debbie is uh, underselling herself. Uh, she was a designer for Apple in, in San Jose, California. She's been working as a designer for Apple for many years. She's a very well-known graphic design artist in San Jose and uh, a great friend. I have visited her, her there and she's come here. We've gone on trips together. And it's just been a, a wonderful relationship and I'm just really delighted that you were able to come and that the Giddy Up Girls were able to come. This is a really special thing for me and I have to say uh, it's a little Liberace, don't you think? <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes. Beautiful. I, uh, and the perfect uh, yeah. colors. Perfect with, from whiskey. Yeah. And, but tell us about the Greek name. So um, his name is Athon, and he is one of the immortal horses in the Iliad for Helios, the sun, sun god in Greek mythology. And the fire, I mean, what could be have more movement than fire, right? Yeah. And some of some of us have been very, very close to this motion. So. Yeah. Um, so I, I chose that because I, I thought it was, I wanted to do the fire horse and the Greek mythology and the poetry in Greek mythology and, and Athon means um, burning, blazing, and shining. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Debbie. you. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you for the video, Pearl. <laughs> I like the streak in your hair. Oh, oh they're going to play. Yeah. I'm going to set the uh, we're going to set the lawn on fire here. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. I think the next uh, artist is April. Where are you, lovely little April? Yes, you are. April. So a April is from this area, from Helena originally. Is that not correct? Yeah, come on, stand, stand up next to the mic. And you have a uh, bachelor's in art from the University of Montana, do you not? I do, yeah. Yes, and what attracted you to participating in this particular contest? Uh, well, I'm a huge fan of Arts Missoula, and they posted it in their newsletter. And I'm so thankful that you guys are supporting the arts. That's great. Um, but the upward motion was inspired by the word motion and um, the gra graphing of motion. So I wanted to create a design that was inspired by the line work. Um, so it's very simple, but it's a transition from grass to sky where the natural environment of course. Yes. <laughs> so upward motion as opposed to forward. Like upward motion, yeah. yeah. Very nice. And how was it um, working with Dugan? He was so great. It was his first year being painted. Yes. And uh, he was so still. So. Yeah. Yeah. And this I was, is your first horse to paint, is it not? Yeah. It was interesting painting hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a very different canvas. Big canvas. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 He was great. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Thank you, April, for yeah, coming. Thank and thank you, you Taylor, for helping. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, before you get your entrees, and as soon as they get Dugan over there, we're going to let the horses go faster, and they will run, and they will roll. And the other horses that have not been painted are going to stand back and say, what the heck is this? <laughs> and you may want to watch that. You may want to take your cell phone over there. So we'll have a little pause here for you to go over and Suzanne, get... Suzanne, yes. I'm, I'm interrupting you for yeah. just a minute. Before we go on, we have something special for you. Okay? So um, I'm going to interrupt you for just a moment. And are we ready back there in the back? All right. 
Okay, so. <laughs> Enjoy this, Suzanne. She is poetry in motion, and she dances with the wind. Unafraid of stormy weather, finding courage deep within. With no worries for tomorrow, she takes pleasure on the way. She is poetry in motion, and she wins my heart each day. She's namesake for Lonzo and travels with his song. She remembers who her friends are as she carries them along. And she loves a fresh new challenge as she faces each new day. Looking forward to her in reward of rest and shade and hay. Lady Lonzo, Lady Lonzo. A reflection of the sun Lady Lonza Lady Lonza I got you all who listen And give ear At Dunrovan When the evening breeze is gentle And the river's running slow And that peaceful feeling's tugging at your heartstrings like a bow. Remember how you've come to wind at the rivers running high. And give thanks unto your maker who watches from on high. Lady Lonza, Lady Lonza. She is a golden beauty, a reflection of the sun. Lady Lonza. Lady Lonza, a guide to all who will listen and give in at Dunrovan. Woo! Woo! Before you leave, you, you need to see her fall. It's a colt, a year old colt. He's a Palomino. He's gorgeous. And I bred her to a short stud thinking I'd get a short horse, and guess what? Yeah, he's taller than she's going to be. I couldn't, you know, there you go. You should never breed a horse for what you want. You should buy one. <laughs> that's, that, that's, the, that's the rule. Yeah, but do visit Augie out there. He's a gorgeous. Uh, Young horse. But come back, come back um, for some more music, and uh, Sharla is going to introduce two very uh, wonderful guests who are going to share some poetry in the evening. And I just couldn't be more excited about hearing their, their poems and getting to know them. I've enjoyed meeting them, and I think there's some great future here. So go over and watch them run because I think you will enjoy that. And uh, by the way, tomorrow we have a, young, uh, a group of young girls coming for spa day. So this will, they, they all get washed tomorrow. And yeah, spa day for the horses tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much.
I really felt my age on this uh, trip down the middle. Of I mean, it was only eight years ago when I went down the Grand Canyon. And I've deteriorated a lot since then. I'm 74. But you're better off than I am. You're better off. But I tell you, I turned 74 on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's still, again, I'm staying in shape, but I've been playing sports all my life, but still, it's happening. I understand you can't do hockey anymore. Well, I missed the week. But I'm signed up for the week.
Back when they were worth a hundred and ten or They went saw donkeys. Well the horses they just get through one of the gates. <laughs> and they were just kind of hey, running around. So the bartender talking to him I heard you over there. Well, so I'm like, oh you know, hey.
encourage all of you to go online <laughs> and vote for your favorite horse. And I can't pick one because they're all mine, and I love them deeply in all in different ways. They've been beautifully painted by our artists um, who really put a lot of themselves and their own expressions into it. And I thank you deeply for coming and joining in this adventure. And thank you all for coming. Thank you to uh, Kelly and to Paula for making this happen. They did all the work behind the scenes. Thank you very much. And Carolyn Woo! for her photography. And um, go forth and have a, a wonderful end of summer. Thank you all for coming and good night. So let's close together with a song. I'd like you to sing it with me. Will you join me? I will join you. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, give me a home above Discouraging words